What's up guys and thank you so much for tuning in to another video of As Always Aaliyah where we always keep it real. Now in this video you're probably wondering how can I grow my hair longer and faster in 2020. About a year and a half ago I had a big chop and it was a disaster. I, I sat there for 10 hours and this is how it looks and I don't like it. And I got there, I got there at 9 o'clock in the morning, and I, she didn't finish till like 7, like right now. She didn't finish at 7 o'clock. I pretty much had to start from scratch on growing my natural hair. So I implemented some simple steps in my daily routine that helped me grow my natural hair longer and faster. And now I'm going to be sharing it with you, the 2020 edition. <laughs> So guys, the first thing that I want to talk to you guys about is hair density and what it is and how it can affect your hair from growing. Hair density is the number of individual strands per inch on your scalp. By learning more about your hair density, you can simply take your hand, put it in a little O position to represent one square inch, and place it right on your scalp. Now tell me what you see. Is your hair thin? Is it thick? Do you have a lot of hair strands in that circle? Can you see your scalp? What does it look like? If your hair is more on the thinner side and you can see your scalp more in that per square inch, your hair may not be growing as fuller as somebody whose hair is more dense. If somebody's hair is more dense, then your hair is going to grow a little bit more thicker than others and it's just going to look a little bit more fuller too. It's all about genetics and just how our hair grows. You don't want to compare your hair and your hair growth to somebody else's because your hair grows differently. Your hair may be denser or less dense. Go at your own pace and your hair's own pace as well. Just a fun fact, the average person has about 2,200 strands of hair per square inch on their head, and the average person sheds about 50 to 100 hair strands a day. Isn't that a lot? So if you think your hair may be shedding or falling out, it's probably just genetics and it automatically happens to everyone. Our hair sheds, and it sheds to about 50 to 100 hair strands a day. Okay guys, so the next two tips I wanna talk to you guys about, about learning more about your hair and your hair growth, is we're going to perform two tests in this clip. Now, the first test we'll be doing is the float test, and the second test we'll be doing is the slip and slide test. Both tests are going to be measuring the porosity of our hair. Now, if you don't know, hair porosity is just how receptive your hair is to receiving water. Those who can receive water better than others usually have more moisturizing hair. And those who have hair that's a little bit more dry or brittle, your cuticles just may be closed and it's harder to receive water and moisture in your hair. But no worries, we have a couple fixes for those with low and high porosity. So guys, we're going to go ahead and do the float test to see what is the porosity of our hair. Now, in order to do the float test you're just going to want to take a few strands of hair from your brush or your comb and place them into a bowl or glass of water now let that sit for two to five minutes and after that come back and see where your hair is floating if your hair is floating then you have low porosity hair if your hair sinks then you have high porosity hair and if your hair is somewhat in the middle then your hair has medium porosity now, the next test that we can perform to find out the porosity of our hair is the slip and slide test. All you're going to want to do is take a strand of hair and slide your fingers up towards the scalp on the shaft. If you feel bumps along the way, this means that your cuticles are lifted and you have high porosity hair and water is able to easily get into the hair shaft. If your fingers run smoothly across the strand hairs, then you have low porosity hair and it's harder for moisture to get in and penetrate the hair shaft. Yeah. All right, guys, so the next thing I want to go over with you guys that's really important if you want to grow your hair long and fast in 2020, and that is drinking alkaline water. Yeah. Yeah. Now, for those that don't know what alkaline is, alkaline just refers to the pH level in the water. Alkaline is on a scale from 0 to 14. For example, if the pH balance is 1, it's pretty acidic and you should stay away from it. Or if you have a pH balance of 13, it's very alkaline. Most waters that are alkaline fall between a pH balance of 7 and 10. Now, the two alkaline waters that I have here with me today is the alkaline water plus electrolytes from Trader Joe's, and I also have 
Essentia water, overachieving H2O. These are the two waters that I just have on hand with me today, but I drink so many different alkaline waters. These are just two of my favorites. Now guys, in addition to drinking alkaline water, I actually found this on Amazon and it's been getting a lot of hype. It's the alkaline shower filter. Some people do use this. I've been kind of keeping my eye on it, but if you guys want to check it out, it, be, it creates alkaline water in the shower filter. Uh, you can just go ahead and attach this to the shower head and it'll come out alkaline. Another thing that I saw on Amazon that looks pretty promising is this vitamin C filter shower head with hose replacement filters. This looks pretty cool. I'm de It's definitely grabbing my attention. I have never tried it before, but I'm totally into the alkaline waters filtered water system. So I definitely want to keep my eyes on this one. I know a few people that have tried it and actually do like it, but this does say that it helps with dry skin and hair loss. So if you guys have tried this before, please Please let me know and let me know does it actually make a difference uh, this may be something that I certainly will purchase in the future but it looks pretty cool and it does help out with your hair as well Okay, so the next topic that I'm going to talk to you guys about is so dear and near to my heart because I actually created it myself. And this is my homemade hair juice that I created for hair growth. Now, I created hair juice because people keep asking me, how am I making my hair grow so thick, full, long, and quick in 2020? My hair juice is something that I try to drink every day or at least during the weekdays. And I keep up with it. And because of the vitamins and nutrients that my hair juice has, and I'll go over some of the ingredients in this video as well it really does help my hair grow now if you guys want to see exactly how I'm making my hair grow in 2020 with my hair juice stay tuned and watch these next clips you're not gonna want to miss it matter of fact get out a pen and paper because you might just want to take some notes So guys, your hair needs essential vitamins and antioxidants to be healthy. These are actually my top five superfoods that I use to grow my hair. I'm going to go over them one by one in the video. The first thing that I put in my hair juice to grow my hair is carrots. Now, in addition to their sweet and satisfying flavor and crunch, carrots are packed with carotene, vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. They're also rich in vitamin A, which makes your hair grow longer, thicker, and fuller and stronger now the next ingredient that I want to talk to you guys about is cucumbers cucumbers are amazing they're extremely good for your hair because they contain silicone and sulfur which collectively stop hair fallout and they promote healthy hair growth celery juice compromises a high amount of water and vitamin A both are great for our hair it keeps our scalp hydrated and cures dandruff it is also nourishes the root and hair strand it also helps with hair growth and it improves the texture of our hair, making it really soft. So guys, just a few other tips about my juicer. Make sure you have a daily routine of when you're actually going to drink your juice if you do want to get serious about your hair growing. This is going to help your hair grow, but you do need to drink your juice every day to see the results. So have a daily routine if you're going to drink your juice in the morning for breakfast or maybe as a post-workout after you work out. Also, you guys are going to want to probably drink your juice over the rocks. I have had juice cold I have had my juice warm and I've also had it over the rocks in ice and the best way to drink my juice is definitely over the rocks it just heightens the taste and the taste bud level from here to here I'm so serious drinking your juice over the rocks oh my goodness I can't even describe the taste but it doesn't even taste like you're drinking anything healthy it just tastes like a fun drink to drink and you're also growing your hair at the same time <music> So the next topic that we're going to get into is something that is near and dear to my heart. I actually recently found out about this secret topic to making your hair grow. I feel like I finally hit the jackpot with this one. Guys, this is probably my top secret in making your hair grow in 2020 and that is Aravita. I have used Aravita. I have told people about Aravita who have also used it and can tell you their hair has grown as well. Aravita is the traditional Hindu system of medicine. Pretty much what Aravita is are these professionals will go out into the wilderness and take these trees and these plants and these nuts and they'll grind them up into a powder and they'll sell them to you for you to make in a mask and use on your hair. Now I'm going to get into the details of what Aravita actually is and how it can help your hair grow in 2020 right now. Let's do it. Um. 
So there's different types of Ayurvedas. There's actually tons that I may not even know about, but I'm gonna be talking to you guys about my top three Ayurveda powders that I use on my hair to create a mask for my hair to grow. The first Ayurveda mask that I wanna to talk to you guys about is Shaka Kai. Now, all Shaka Kai is is a pod-like fruit that's collected, dried, and then grind into a fine powder. They actually nicknamed this the fruit of the hair because it comes from a pod-like fruit. Now, once this powder is dried, you can apply this to your hair. Now, Shaka Kai does promote hair growth. It also prevents dandruff and it strengthens the hair from its roots. And we all know that the roots are where the hair grows at. So you can use Shaka Kai and guess what? It's only like two or three bucks for the box. I'll go ahead and tag it in my description so you guys can find all about Shaka Kai and where to buy it from. Now the next Ayurveda powder that I want to talk to you guys about is Amla. It is the Hindu word for fruit tree that grows throughout India and bears sour tasting gooseberry like fruits. Now now, Ama adds texture, volume, wave, and curl. It also adds hair shine and promotes hair growth. Ama will make your hair thicker and stronger. Now, Ama is also going to tighten up your curls if you guys are having loose curls as well. Ama comes from a fruit tree in India, so you know we're getting the goods. And again, they take it and they make it to a powder and they sell it to us. The last thing I want to talk to you guys about is Bromni. Now, Bromni is a staple plant in the traditional area of medicine. It grows in a wet tropical environment. Now, this is an Ayurvedic healthy hair herb, and this is used for strengthening your hair at the roots. It also makes your hair denser, longer, shinier. This is going to control dandruff and reduce premature graying. Bromni is perfect is the perfect herb to add to the natural hair regimen for someone who has chronic hair problems. So if you you are really struggling with your hair I would create a Bromney mask and just go ahead and apply it to your hair sometimes I let my Ayurveda masses sit overnight sometimes I let them sit for a few hours but I go into a deep dive video all about Ayurveda guys if you want to check it out and really want your hair to grow go ahead and click this video up here and I'll also have it tagged in the description below Ayurveda is the way to go I'm telling you people will go out into mother earth into this into the wilderness and take plants and take nuts and take roots and they'll make they'll dry it out in the sun and they'll turn it into a powder and you can apply that to your hair that's all Aravita is guys the last thing I want to talk to you guys about and you probably already know it because this may be your 10th video that you clicked on on how to make your natural hair grow faster and longer in 2020 but for my hair to grow faster and longer I have to deep condition I have to do protein treatments I have to do my hot oil treatments and it's just finding out what works best for your hair now for me I do protein treatments and hot oil treatments in deep conditioners I deep condition my hair at least once a week I also do hot oil treatments treatments at least once a month and I really try my best to do my Ayurveda clay masses at least once or twice a month but it is hard because I am on YouTube so I have to do different things for you guys but if you do want your hair to grow drink your juice drink your water do your Ayurveda clay masses and learn about your hair porosity and your hair density so you can find out what hair products work well with your hair porosity and your hair density. Guys, if you learned something today, please like, subscribe, and share to this channel. I hope this video has helped you, but if you guys did like what you see, please leave a comment. Let me know what was your favorite tip that you learned from this video. I really love helping everyone grow their natural hair. I think that this is what I was put on earth to do because I know so much about natural hair and how to help your hair grow. Guys, if you like this video, again, please like, subscribe, and share. But without further ado, I am going to let you guys go. Don't forget to hit the bell so you're notified every time I post weekly videos about hair growth. My name is Aaliyah. This is, as always, Aaliyah, where we always keep it real. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.